So over here you can see that I have a person and let's say I want to track this person who's walking from left to right and add a power window to focus on this particular person. So I'm going to go around over here and let's say I'm going to go around and make a power window. So let me just click and I'm just going to go around, add in a softness a bit right here. And then I'm going to go around over here and pull this up and focus this person. So once I do that, I'm going to go around and change around the offset a bit right here. Maybe increase out uh, the brightness of this person a bit, just like this. So if I were to go around over here onto, let's say, the tracker and press the play button, you can see that it does not actually track out this person. So sometimes what happens is that it tracks the wrong stuff over here. So I'm just going to go around, press Ctrl Z right here, and you can see that I already have this little frame right here. That is the power window. So what I can simply do is I can do manual tracking. So for that, if I were to go around onto the tracker, here you can see that I can go to frame. And once I do that, what I can do is I can go around and move this. And what happens is that it manually adds a keyframe over here, as you can see. I'm just going to go around onto the beginning right here and move this right here. And you can see that now, according to what I did, you can see that the keyframe is applied right here, just like this. Similarly, I'm going to go around right around to the end. So I can just go around and then resize this out right here, just like this. And this is what you have. You can see that it actually moves around right here. So you can go around onto the center right here and do manual tracking just like this. So you can go around over here. Uh, make uh, some adjustment and between these keyframes as well I'm just going to go around make adjustment and in between so usually when you make keyframes uh, adjustment right here you should go around onto the between so that uh, it just goes around and then has manual tracking properly right here just like this so you can see that from the first you can see that the tracking is happening and then there you go that is what you have right here let me just go around increase out the brightness right here or maybe change around let's say something else now let's make the person a bit more white right here you can go around and add in more thing right here just like this as you can see so this is how the tracker works so now if i were to turn it off you can see that that is where the tracker is so I've manually tracked in the person from left to right, even though there was an error with the auto tracker. And that is how you can do manual tracking inside of DaVinci Resolve for Power Windows. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.